What is up, Halloween fans? It is Danny from the Lasser Cast with Charlie Tate. Yes. And we are here to talk about the guy, the man in the middle. The man in the middle. Michael Myers and oh. Halloween 2 that came out in 1981. Not to be confused with Halloween 2, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, that came out in 2009. Or with Halloween 2018, that is technically Halloween 2 because it's a sequel to the original 1978 movie. Oh, this, this, this timeline is so confusing for these movies. Yes, it's very confusing, though. But yes, we're going to talk about the original 1981 original. Halloween 2. Uh, and speaking of original... 1982. 1981 Halloween 2. There we go. There we go. Speaking of original... This movie picks up exactly where the first like movie... Like, a second after the movie. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think of the end of the first movie and then the beginning of this movie? I say... It's really cool. <laughs> um, I just say that it's like... It, it just picks up... I like how it starts from the original ending. And then you can literally see when it stops... The original ending. Yeah, it, it like there's a, a very a it clear goes from, cut. It's like, staticky, pixely a little bit, and then it's like ah, oh, clear. Yeah, uh, when Michael gets shot off the balcony, you could tell that's like that's... the first piece of new footage, mm -hmm. and then we get the introduction of my favorite character, not just Doctor Sam Loomis, but crazy Doctor Dr. Loomis. Loomis, the Doctor Loomis who is yelling at neighbors who's running around screaming, I shot him in the heart! I shot him! How well, many he's times? he's only screaming because... Why? Other people don't know what death is. They don't know what death it is! Oh, uh, I shot him I six did. times! I love Crazy Loomis. He is my favorite, maybe my favorite character in the entire... Halloween universe. It's about to say in the entire slasher universe. That's no, why. my but my in my in the entire Halloween filmography, Crazy Loomis in Halloween <laughs> Two is one of my favorites. The fact that oh my god, later on when he's with the sheriff and he yeah. just start he pulls his gun out and starts chasing the guy in the street. I love that he thought Ben Tramer was Michael Myers because. Poor Lori. Even though, even though he was holding a trick or treat bag, yeah, that was the like. Did did Loomis think that Michael Myers took six shots off the balcony and then went, went trick or treating? Tre <laughs> <laughs> and he's running down the street. There's kids on the street. He's got his gun out. He oh, trick or treating. Oh my God. Well, I don't think uh, Lori is going to be able to go out with Ben Tramer after this movie. Oof. Yeah. Find another guy. Yeah. You'll live. It, interesting side note, the dentist that they bring in to do the dental records test on the burnt corpse of Ben, ben Tramer is, I believe it is Jeffrey Kramer, the actor, who was also um, Roy Scheider, uh, his like second in command in Jaws. Sh Chief, Bro Chief Brody in Jaws. Chief Brody. He had uh, another like officer, like a lieutenant, with him in in Jaws. That. Oh. Him? Yes, and he also plays the motorist in Clue in 1985. I forgot about Clue. So he, yeah, he's like a really. He just pops up in all these great movies. Hi. So. What did you think about Michael Myers in part two compared to Michael Myers in part one? Because it's a different actor <laughs> playing the shape. I honestly thought he was a lot quicker, except for that elevator scene. Oh, uh, you hate him for that. <laughs> what bothers me about... Th there are some things... Look, I think you have to rate this movie. You can't compare it to the original. No. But if you're comparing Halloween 2 as a sequel... I think that you have to look at it and you have to think that genuinely it's a good sequel. Yes, it does everything that you want a sequel to do. It it uh, it kind of explores more of the lore of the original movie. Uh, it, it raises the, blood, uh, the kill count and the blood count. Um, there's a lot more death and blood in this movie than the first one. But 
it also has some things that I think are very obviously nitpicky. Like, like she said, Michael Myers in this movie, there are scenes of him walking at a normal speed. And then there's him walking like... And then, like, he wants to kill Laurie. We find out that's, like, his number one motivation. Yeah. And he is walking extra slow to her. When we've seen two movies now, he's capable of moving at a normal pace. So, yeah, that bothers me a little. All we can say for Michael Myers getting to the hospital is, thank you, son. No. Oh, yes. Uh, Dick Warlock, the actor who plays Michael in this movie. Uh, another Jaws connection, because I think I told you he does the stunts for Richard Dreyfus for Hooper oh, 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 in, oh. in the cage yeah. in Jaws. So, uh, a lot and then of... they took that scene from a real shark. Oh, yeah, they did. But, um, mm. yeah, his son plays the kid carrying the boombox who, when they Ooh, bump into each other, that's yeah. where he finds out that Laurie is in the hospital. I thought he's just, like, killing random people. I guess he just kills people he wants to. Well, that was part of the issue with this movie, was that this movie tried to give a reason. The first movie John Carpenter made... He, Michael Myers just killed everyone. Yeah. Whoever it, he found. He basically was just... It, there's no explanation. All we know in the first movie is what Loomis tells you, is that he's, uh, you know... He basically thinks he's just pure evil. He has the devil's eyes, the blackest eyes. Uh, in this movie, Loomis starts to... I, there's nothing remotely human. You don't know what that is. He's, he's, he's trying to give a lot more backstory to Michael Myers. So that's where we find out, you know, why was he going after the girls in the first movie? Mm -hmm. Well... Yep, Lori is Michael's sister. I forgot, so I wrote it down. <laughs> uh, John Carpenter didn't necessarily like this revelation. What do you think about well, it? Well, I didn't really like either, but they kind of introduced it with the little flashback. Brother? So, what's interesting, though, is... So, that, that becomes the story of, like, the rest of parts four, five, six... H two O, what? I just got a theory. What? Is the little teen who played Michael Myers in that flashback the boy from Lost Boys? No, no, I, I know who you're thinking of, but yeah, no, no, it's not. You guys probably know who I'm thinking of too. I but. think. Are you thinking of the main boy? The the little main boy. Uh, Corey Haim. No, it wasn't Corey Haim. Damn. No, but he he kind of looked like him. But anyways, yeah, Lori is Michael's sister. In parts four, five, six, H two O and Resurrection. H two O. Yeah, that was Halloween twenty years later. It came out in nineteen. 19... Halloween water. Halloween water. Yes, Halloween that. Water. Halloween water. Halloween water. I. Uh, that's what I'm going to be drinking when I go see Halloween Kills the other night. I'm going to have a nice Halloween H two O. Yay. Uh. <laughs> I actually made that joke. <laughs> you did. 20 years ago when I saw H2O in the movie theater in 1998. Hey guys, look, it's Halloween water. <laughs> oh my God. But, so Halloween 2018, Halloween. the one that came out a few years ago, Halloween. where Halloween Kills is a sequel to that movie, that is ignoring all of the rest of the sequels, including this movie, Halloween 2. And then I say it's kind of like, uh, not part nine ignores part eight if Jason. Oh yeah, Jason like thing. like Jason goes to hell. It just creates like a whole new backstory, Bye. and it doesn't pay attention to any of the movies We're really. You. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like that's that's the thing with this movie where uh, where with the new. Mm. So yeah. So in other words, in Halloween 2018, Laurie is not Michael's sister. He's she's just a survivor uh, who is afraid that he's going to come back for her later. You'll see. We'll watch it before you see Halloween Kills. Okay. But listen, that look that was just on your face. Yeah, that <laughs> look of utter confusion is everyone when you talk about the timelines of the halloween series there's like four or five different timelines and that doesn't even include the fact that halloween 3 is its own movie completely like outside of this at least like universe uh, so let, let's talk about the hospital uh yeah. 
Mike, this movie takes place mostly in the hospital. hospital. So, what was your favorite scene in the hospital? Like, what was your I favorite kill? I changed it from before, and now I think it's probably the bathtub scene where she gets her head jumped. Oh, okay, jump. yeah, no, the nurse who gets yeah. her face like melted off in the. Yeah, it kind of looks like um when the face melts in Friday the Thirteenth. The one where Jason gets it. The one before Freddy versus Jason. Oh, Jason X, where he puts her head in the liquid nitrogen. No, I'm talking about um, the one where Jason, his soul goes from different places. Was that part? Yeah, no, that was part nine. Who does he kill in that by drowning them? No, I'm talking about how the face melts, kind of like the guy who transferred. Oh, the guy's face melting off. Oh, okay. It I reminded see. me of that. Yeah, it looked gross like that. Like I looked like at that. that scene, I was like, yeah, yeah. That nurse gets her face pretty much melted off in Do the. Do not scal- forget. Yes, in the scalding hot water. Yeah. Uh, I like the scene where I think it's, we said it's Nurse Janet, where mm-hmm. she backs up, I and her name Michael. Was Wendy. Michael is just <laughs> sitting there, you know, standing in the darkness with his mask. Hello. Uh, that to me was always the the scariest part about yeah, Michael. Like he just creeps up in the dark. Like- but also, yeah, like his mask is just pure white, usually against a black background. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's a, it comes back from the original. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, when he's hiding behind the door. Yeah. If and when you watch Halloween's 4 and 5, you're going to see... I don't want to watch that. Halloween 4 and 5 have two of the worst masks you'll ever see. It's Halloween like, 4, I've, I've seen the cover and it looks terrible. Well, the cover of Halloween 4 is the actual mask, like this one. But then the movie starts, and it just looks terrible. It, it's, oh, I, thank, I... Oh, speaking of masks, thank you to whoever the first actor was that kept it under the butt for three Oh, days. yeah, Nick Castle. Uh, yeah, you... Thank you. Thank you for... Thank you, Nick Castle, for keeping that under the bed for three days. Yeah. Um, I think Halloween 2 is I mean, a really... Like is a really good sequel. It... It, it does kind of fall into more traditional slasher movie tropes than the first one does, but it it's also, you know, it, it's scary, it has the John Carpenter music, it has, uh, it brings back the two main characters, Laurie and Loomis, uh, it, it, it reveals a lot more, and it gives, like, reason for the first movie. <laughs> I got four items. So... Uh, where, all right, so let me ask you this. Where would you compare this? Because you've seen all but the remake of the Friday the 13th movies. So, what, how would you compare this to Friday the 13th Part 2, which also starts with them replaying the end of the first movie? They do? Oh, yeah. they do. And then do. introduces a masked killer again. <laughs> a masked killer? So what? How? I feel like which movie? The, and what? They're but they both came out in 1981. So which one did you like better? <laughs> um. Uh, probably maybe Friday the Thirteenth because uh, I'm not sure they're both so great. I mean, though, what was her name? Who? Friday the Thirteenth. Oh, Miss Voorhees. Mrs. Voorhees, the killer. No, in Friday the 13th Part 2, Ginny, Ginny. Okay. Oh, Ginny, Ginny, Ginny. I have to think about her. Oh, part. yeah, my favorite final girl in the Friday movies. Oh, my God, me too. Yeah, she's easily my favorite. Except Carrie. I mean, Tina. In what? which movie? Uh, Seven. Tina. Oh, 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 yeah, I like Ginny better than Tina. I do too, but Tina's great. Uh, anyway, uh, Part 2 and Part 2 <laughs> are both similar because... It looks like Michael Myers is standing on my head right now. It does? Oh, it does. Uh, Because they're, one, they're both part two, and both, they come back the same way. We think, well, Jason wasn't really in the first one, but we think they're dead. Because one, Michael Myers got shot, and number two, Jason is just Swamp Boy. (laughs) So, we both think they're dead, and then they come back as masked killers, and then oh. I I like Halloween two better than Friday two, but I I think me too. I think Friday the thirteenth is just like I think overall. I and he, oh here's the other thing, and this will be the last thing that we say. I think 
had this actually been the ending, because John Carpenter wanted to kill Michael Myers, which is why he blew him up at the end of the movie, and the movie ends with Michael Myers, basically his corpse, burning, uh, and Loomis dead from being blown up. I just want to be, um, make a comment about Halloween 3, but you can continue. Okay, well, my point is, would did you like the ending of this movie? No. And would you <laughs> would you have liked it if this was the if if there were no more Halloween movies if they just said yes. that's it? Oh, so that's my yeah. Because it doesn't make sense. I was like almost raging when part when I saw there was a part nine after part eight of Friday the Thirteenth. I almost started raging. I was like, how? Yeah. How? So. It begs, if you don't know the story, and I'm sure you do, but this was intended by John Carpenter to be the end. Killing Michael Myers, uh, killing Dr. Loomis. Carpenter didn't want to make a Halloween 2 in the first place, so he, so he wanted this to be the end. And yeah. the goal was, okay, after Michael Myers' story is done, we're going to make a new Halloween movie every year, and it'll be just a completely different scary movie. So Halloween three will be this scary Mask. movie about, you know, you know Halloween masks that kill you, um, and then there'll be a new Halloween movie the year after. Halloween three was such a complete failure at the box office and with fans. I thought you liked it. No, no, no. I'm talking about when it came out oh. because the problem was everybody saw Halloween three and they went, "Oh my God, Michael Myers is in this movie." And then everyone was like, "That's I mean, what I was about to say." If you're making a it, does John Carpenter direct this? Who directed this? A part two? No, part three. No, he but he, he produced it, but he didn't direct it. John Carpenter and people who directed part three, if you wanted to make a separate movie, you can do that. Like, there has been different directors who have made different movies. Like, and but, like, but, but like, why would you have to make it part three of a Halloween series if it's well, not... Well, that was... They wanted to spin it off into, like, an anthology series where every movie in the Halloween series became a different story. No anthology will be trick-or-treat. Well, but that's that's the idea. Maybe creep show. Yeah. I mean, I... Hey, look, when I was a kid and I saw Halloween 3 for the first time, I hated it <laughs> because I rented it from the video store thinking this is going to be a Michael Myers movie. Michael Myers. And no, I, yeah, that's no. How you sounded. It I did, but like everybody thought it was going to be a Michael Myers movie. I've I've learned to love it over the years. I I now love Halloween 3, but it's it's not a Halloween movie it's necessarily. A movie. You're a maniac. So I we, she hasn't watched all the Halloween movies, so she can't do an, a proper ranking of it, but... Uh, I have to say part two is better, honestly. I'm sorry. Then what? The part one. Done. I better get out. I'm back. Uh, I don't know about that, but yeah... Halloween for me is a top three or four horror movie ever made. Uh, it just, you know, there's only so many, so much you can hear about Halloween, the original. Uh, but if you do want to hear more, Pete and Sherry have a great video up on the Anchor Pete channel, which is the sister channel to the Lasser cast. Um, and uh, we have uh, a special guest coming up. Later tonight, Pete and I are interviewing a uh, friend of the channel, David Weiner, the director of the In Search of Darkness <gasps> movies. I want to join. No. And uh, we're going to, uh, amongst other things that we're going to be talking about with him, uh, we are going to ask him about... Is he coming to part three? three? Well, we're going to ask him uh, about the movies, the Halloween movies that came out in the 80s, Halloween 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and just see what he has to say about them as well. Uh, since he covered sisters. them in his documentary yes don't forget Lori is Michael's sister alright I won't tell you you spelled Lori's name wrong though I didn't spell Lori's name right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright that's Halloween 2 uh, stay tuned for the Lasser cast uh, going to see Halloween Kills in <laughs> two days uh, on Thursday night and I'll have a live review uh, immediately after 
uh, just to give my quick spoiler-free thoughts. And we will see you very soon on the Bye. Lasso Cast. Bye.